today I have a really, really exciting video. I'm going to be doing the horror movie tag, and this is a tag that I'm collaborating with Valerie Dyson for. I love Valerie. She is the sweetest girl. We've been YouTube friends for probably about a year now, and oh, I love her. I always look forward to seeing her comments on my videos and to see what she posts, because she's one of those YouTubers where like you look forward to seeing her new videos every week. She posts tags, she posts product reviews, which I really appreciate because when I go to the store I never know what to buy when it comes to like makeup or body products and she does really good reviews and I trust her opinion so I always look for her guidance and she also does a lot of empties videos, favorite videos, tags and yeah so it's really fun to watch what goes on in her life and she's such a sweet girl so be sure to check her out I'll be linking her video down below in the description box and make sure you hit the subscribe button once you get over to her channel so I found this horror movie tag online and I knew it was the perfect tag to collaborate with Valerie for because we both share a love of horror movies and yeah I, I love horror movies because I actually read online that it helped people with anxiety because the anxiety you feel when watching the movie takes your mind off your real life anxiety. So that's a little tidbit for anyone who's uh, thinking they might need to deal with stress in a new way. So yeah, I'm really excited to get into this tag, so let's jump right in. What is the first horror movie you remember watching? Hmm, that would have to be... I remember my friends and I in grade 6 had a horror movie marathon. We watched Halloween and The Children and Eden Lake. And Halloween was whatever. Uh, Eden Lake was very scary on a lake because it was very realistic and The Children was creepy because there's these crazy little children running about and yeah, little crazy children scary. Uh, that's why I'm going into high school education. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so yeah, those three were the very first ones I watched that were horror movies. Before that, it was more so scary TV shows, like that one episode of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Anyone around my age will know what I'm talking about. Terrifying, I tell you. What is your favorite horror movie? Now, I had to do a lot of thinking about this, but I think I've come to terms that it is Get Out, which is a fairly new horror movie. I think it came out this year or maybe last fall, but I just really loved how unique it was. Unlike anything I've ever seen, they really took a new twist on it, dealing with things like racism and privilege, and it just really makes you think. I really appreciate that when it comes to horror movies. It's just unique traits because you see a lot of the same stuff, and when you see something new, it tends to scare you more because you know the unknown is scary to we humans so I'd have to say get out but I also really really like the birds this is an old Alfred Hitchcock movie but there's something really creepy about that one and actually yesterday I thought it was occurring because all these birds were gathering so if you want to be scarred by nature for the rest of your life give that one a watch but yeah it's a really good classic what is your favorite horror movie genre 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 See, I have trouble with that word because it comes from French, and in French we say Jean. But in English, when a word comes from French and English, they tend to butcher the pronunciation. And I want to blend in, and I want people to understand me, so I'm trying to butcher it, but I forget how they butcher it. Genre, maybe? Yeah, I think that's it. Favorite horror movie category? Well, for this one, I'd have to say anything with real life killers, like human killers. As fun as ghosts and possession are, there's something more realistic when it's a real killer and you think, oh, this could actually happen. Not that ghosts couldn't happen. It depends what you believe, of course, but it's so much more realistic that it's then so much more creepy because you start questioning everyone around you because you're like, hey, if that person in the movie is crazy, how many people around me are crazy? So yeah, I'd have to say anything with real life killers and psychological thrillers because I love anything that deals with psychology. So then I'm thinking more like Gone Girl and Girl on the Train. Those are some very good ones. I don't know if you guys have seen those. I'm interested. Valerie, have you seen those too? What genre scares you the most? Again, I would have to say anything with a real killer because, yeah. Like Hush. I really, really liked Hush because it was creepy, you saw the real guy. And what was that one that Sam and I watched? 
with the creepy bear masks. You're next. That's another really good one because it deals with real crazy people in the woods. <laughs> There's so many movies in the woods, you know? So those ones are good too. I like those a lot. What is the last horror movie you watched that actually scared you? Well, the last horror movie I watched was It. And, uh, actually no, the last horror movie I watched was Gerald's Game. That one was interesting for the fact that it was like very psychologically, you know, like she was going out of her head. It was scary in some moments, but like most movies um, that deal with like ghosts and goblins and possession and like monsters, there comes a point where it's really, really scary, and then all of a sudden it crosses the line and it's just ridiculous and you start laughing. Like, I loved it, don't get me wrong, but it didn't scare me overly. The last one that did really scare me, though, was Annabelle Creation. Ooh, there's a lot of jump scares in that one, so... Yeah, anything with jump scares really scares me. Who is your ultimate scream queen? I think this means like the best scream in a movie. Honestly, people always do a good job screaming. <laughs> it's hard to mess up. But uh, the girls in Scream, of course, very dramatic. The classic psycho scream. I'd say those two. I don't tend to scream in movies. There have been a few times where I let out a noise, mostly during <laughs> jump scares, but I'm more the type to cover my eyes and grab onto my boyfriend. He probably has little claw marks on his arm, I bet. Sorry, dear boyfriend. What's a concept that you'd like to see in horror? Well, I'd say anything that deals with psychology. Like, there have been so many movies already based on psychology, like even thinking of the Silence of the Lambs, like the mind games in that movie. Whew! But yeah, or mind games. That's another good one. I don't know if you guys have seen that one, but you have to check it out, because I love anything that like is trippy and then there's like a plot twist. Oh, I love movies that at the end there's a twist and Mind Games is really, really good for that. I love that movie. Actually, maybe that's my favorite horror movie. Now I'm rethinking my answers here. But yeah, um, my favorite movie of all time isn't a horror movie, it's Remember Me. And the reason it's my favorite movie is because the ending has a little twist and I love stuff like that. So anything that plays with your mind. Like Split, that was another really, really good psychological horror movie to watch. What is your favorite on-screen kill? Ooh. I don't know. Oh, okay, I thought about it. <laughs> My ex-boyfriend and I went to this awful movie. <laughs> I think it was called something 32, 34 Cloverfield Lane. You know, we both really didn't like this movie. It was. It was creepy and scary. Anyways, uh, this guy like captured this girl. Spoiler alert. Well, don't watch this movie. I didn't like I'm sorry. If some people like that movie, I'm glad. Like, it was interesting, but it just is not one of my favorites. It was just a very eerie movie that made me uncomfortable and scared for life. So yeah, I guess it's good in that way. It did scare me. <laughs> but she killed the guy who kind of captured her. And that was my favorite on-screen kill. <laughs> Um, what's your favorite horror franchise? I don't know, I'm really liking Annabelle. I loved what they did. Insidious is... it's alright. Oh, I also really like Ouija, Origin of Evil, and the original. <laughs> the Ouija Experiment. Samuel and I love those... there's two movies, but they're like... the the really crappy, cheesy, like, this is not well done horror movies, but sometimes it, those are just fun to watch as a comedy. And the final question is, who is your horror, favorite horror director? And I had to look this up because I, I don't pay attention to directors. I do appreciate their job because in a theater class we learned a lot about how important they are and how they, they shape the whole movie. Like, it's really them who makes it scary. So, my favorite horror director is Mike Flanagan, and I'll name some of his works. Ouija, Origin of Evil, Oculus, Before I Wake, Hush, yeah, and Gerald's Game. Yeah, so he, he's done a really good job, obviously, because especially Hush, that one is just extra creepy and eerie. Also, I really like The Rings, like the original one. Lights Out, that's another scary one. 
Krampus. That was a really interesting twist. Yeah, so anything unique. Like, Krampus is a really good one because it's unique. Anything with, like, a new idea. That's what's really important because you see a lot of the same concepts of ghosts and, and possession, but yeah. to have done this tag. I tag anyone who wants to do it and boyfriend I'd like to know what your answers would be. Also guys you have to be sure to check out Valerie Dyson. I'm so happy I finally collabed with her because she's such a sweet girl and it's really fun having friends like from different parts of the world. Like she is from the states and I'm from Canada but it's fun how YouTube can like get you to connect with people and she's so sweet and talented so you have to check out her videos. And yes, until next time, stay spooky. Let me know your favorite horror movies below because I'm always interested in watching new ones. See you guys.